Hello everybody, I'm going to present you today a 12 volts battery discharge protection circuit is a must. Alright, so you heard me right that when we talk about 12 volts battery, we normally think about the car battery or this lead acid batteries used for all the projects and stuff. But in order to use it properly in any battery, in any application, you have to know something, the under voltage and over voltage. Normally these lead acid batteries, they have to be charged between 13.5 and 14.5. And a must, a very important thing to not get, uh, you know, sulfated, the plates inside it. We don't, we must not discharge it below 10.5 volts. All right. But let's start with the with the definition. Under voltage or discharging protection circuit is an electronic circuit used to turn off the power of an electronic device in the event of the voltage dropping below the operation voltage. So, in our case, if the voltage is going to be less or we call 10.5 volts, we have to shut it off and don't use it no more. Put it on recharge. But to be safe. We have to put it the the treasure for that uh, protection circuit to 11 volts all right in that being said in our case we're gonna make something very quick and very useful uh, a 12 volts circuit discharge protection that will monitor our battery with a simple device that you can find in uh, online, Amazon, whatever, eBay and stuff. Uh, the solar friends that they have solar panels and use solar off-grid communities and stuff, they know what this one is. This device, which I bought this one from Gearbest, so it's very cheap. This one is a solar charger controller. Basically, is it has a, a built-in stuff, but we're gonna use it in our project from today as a discharge protection circuit for this 12 volt battery. All right, so this one is very explanatory. It has three inputs, you know, from the solar, battery, and bulb. But we're gonna use just a discharge protection. We're gonna connect the battery here to these two terminals from the battery. Yeah, and we're gonna connect our load, a 12 volt LED bulb, here. And we're gonna simulate with uh, an adjustable power supply as the voltage dropping, if this one is gonna shut off at the proper voltage, hopefully before or below or more than 10.5 volts. All right, so let's get started. All right, friends, so we have the power supply. This is the input, it's 20, 12.2 volts. We have a dummy load here. So when we're gonna connect the load to the stuff, it's gonna be it's lighting, so no problems there. But when we're gonna lower with this one, we're gonna lower the voltage, then we will see if the circuit protection was gonna kick in. So let's turn off the power supply first. Okay, so the power supply is turned off. Now, I'm gonna remove the bulb. I'm gonna remove these wires. I'll put them aside a little bit. All right, so we have these middle two pins. This one, accordingly, there is a black and red, plus and minus. So plus, we're gonna connect to the power supply plus, which is this pin over here. The bottom one is labeled and there's no problem for you to find it and the minus the black one to this one here all right and then we have these two pins that's from the load we're gonna connect our bulb to this load and through the circuit protection which is a solar charger all right then so uh, Okay, we have the bulb, we have the solar charger connection, we have cables, we have our power supply. But first we're gonna adjust the output and test it out. 
Alright friends, so we have connected the power supply, as I told you early, with the LED. If we're gonna turn uh, on the power supply, boom, the LED is lighting. The 12 volts power supply is set to 12.7. And as you can see here, we have an indicator at 12.7, the battery is not full. So that means is uh, our stuff from the battery is correct. It says operation standby use 13.5 uh, till 13.8. So the normal battery will be 12.6, 13 and so on. Oh, and by the way, did you know that the lead acid battery was invented in 1859 by a French physicist called Gaston Planté? Huh? How about that? All right, then. now let's go back to our 12 volts discharge protection circuit. Okay, we have the battery, let's say. The battery is here, the load. And take a closer look at this one. Now we're going to simulate as our power supply is dropping down. Let's see. You see? It's dropping down. It's dropping slowly but steady. It's going down. 11 reaches 11.2. So now a perfect discharger protection circuit will be here at 11 volts. As you can see here, the indicator is dropped from two LEDs to one. That means that it's very close to shut off that light. Alright, so let's go. Uh, lower than 11 volts to see exactly how this voltage so 10.9 all right then so it's shut off at 10.8 which is okay it's in the range is not below 10.5 but still it could be better 0.2 volts that's critical and can save your battery life longer than normal all right so that was it friends in the meanwhile Check up the end of the video, check up the related video for this one and take your claim and put the comments below to see what's gonna happen next. Thanks all for watching, till the meanwhile let's crank it up this one to see if it's gonna go. Ooh, we're gonna have lights, yep 12 volts and we got lights friends. Thanks all for watching, see ya, ciao.